everybody. Welcome to another episode. I'm Richard. This is Contra Thoughts, and we've got some weapon control. A little review coming up. Greetings. Aloha. Buenos dias. Um, those are different ways. Guten Tag. Different ways to say hello. You probably knew that. So we've got, I don't know what they say in New Zealand, but we've got a heinous bad thing going on. Um, terrorism. Uh, Islamic terrorism. And really nothing new uh, that we've seen over the last 20 years or so. Uh, this happened in New Zealand recently. And, <clears throat> well, let's just, let's just take a listen. Let's just listen, and we'll see. Tonight, shock and horror <laughs> after a stabbing spree inside a New Zealand supermarket. He stabbed this woman when she came out. A known terrorist with ties to ISIS yeah, reportedly grabbing a large knife from a display a cabinet paper. inside. He's got a knife. And started attacking shoppers. He just went and started stabbing. He went, Allah, Akbar, Allah, Akbar. And then I just realized after that, oh my God, I have to run. In just 60 seconds, six people were stabbed, three critically wounded, before police moved it, a Sri Lankan national, labeled a national security threat back in 2016. He was closely watched by surveillance teams. What happened today was despicable. It was hateful. It was wrong. It was carried out by an individual person who was gripped by ideology that is not supported here. announcing that New Zealand will ban all military-style semi-automatic weapons. We will also ban all assault rifles. We will ban all high-capacity magazines. We will ban all parts with the ability to convert semi-automatic or any other type of firearm into a military-style semi-automatic weapon. We will ban parts that cause a firearm to generate semi-automatic, automatic, or close to automatic gunfire. In short, every semi-automatic weapon used in the terrorist attack on Friday will be banned in this country. Details of the weapons handed back by owners that are covered by the ban will also be taken to ensure that fair and reasonable compensation is paid once the buyback is in place. A known terrorist with ties to ISIS reportedly grabbing a large knife from a display cabinet inside. Um, okay, so it was a couple years ago. Terrorists killed a bunch of people in Australia, or excuse me, New Zealand, and they used automatic weapons. And so the natural inclination of the leftist mind, who is gripped by ideology, also very gripped by ideology, the ideology that people are good, and yet somehow a lot of people aren't good, and a lot of people want to harm other people for some reason, but they have no category to explain why this is the case. Therefore, they just say, well, I don't know, we're just going to ban it and hope for the best. Oh. So we're just going to ban those things and then hope for the best, right? Just like we're going to ban uh, knives. Oh, they ban knives. Good job. Good job, guys. Um, what? <laughs> Are you going to ban baseball bats? What about, what about, uh, this? Going to ban this? Have we not seen the, the Navy SEALs and the guys, you know, in the movies that can kill people with a pen? What about this? You going to ban these? You going to ban a car? You going to ban crowbars? You going to ban hammers? Literally, what? tell you what, government, since you care so much about us, New Zealand government, and certainly Joe Biden's government, um, if you want to call it that, why don't we all just go, just be locked up in a big prison? I mean, a, a hotel. And you just bring us food, and we'll procreate and hang out, and you just bring us food, you give us some stuff down to spend it down at the concierge, uh, the little gift shop, and, uh, you know, we'll be able to watch TV, movies, as much pornography as we want, drink as much alcohol as we want, use as many drugs as we want, um, and just be entertained to death. I mean, that's fine, right? That's really all we really want. So why don't you guys just do that for us? One of these buttons is not buttoned. That's a little weird. So 
That's stupid. They, but that's the, this is the leftist ideology. They don't have any personal responsibility or freedom. And they don't care about the other citizens, the 99.9% .9 of citizens that are obeying the law generally. You know, they might break, you know, traffic laws and other things, but, you know, who doesn't? These are criminals. This guy that's stabbing that just happened, horrific, stabbing people from a knife from the store. So you're going to go to a sporting goods store and literally they're just going to sell packing peanuts for you to pack all your stuff up in boxes and ship it back to the government so they can give you a boy back, a boy, a boy back, not a buyback, a boy back. Guys, this is ridiculous. This won't work. It doesn't work. Columbine, right? Virginia Tech. Uh, how how many how many school shootings high schools universities how many and how many of them broke laws banning something doesn't stop criminals cuz last i checked murder still wrong at least the standard you know first degree murder type that all of these are abortion's still legal right uh that's of course murder and euthanasia is legal in a lot of places too that's murder but general murder that we all are like yeah thou shalt not murder that's wrong it doesn't stop people, though. <laughs> I, like, so you have to remember, abuse, child abuse, that's illegal. Spousal abuse, that's illegal, right? Rape, I probably, say, probably can't say that. <clears throat> R word, rhymes with grape. It's illegal, okay? I don't know if you can say the word or not, but it's a, it's a bad word, so it's a gross word. Uh, or it's a gross, you get the idea. <sighs> Laws are there to govern human. I mean, I'm preaching through the Ten Commandments. You can check out newharvest.com, newharvestbaptist.org. <laughs> Not newharvest.com. I don't know what that is. Probably some other church. Newharvestbaptist.org. Bling. Um, and the law was there. Paul talks about it. Galatians is a great book if you're really kind of like, well, what's what's the role of the law? What's why the law and this and that? Paul says because of transgressions, because of disobedience. It is a it is a hedge to say, hey, be this way, drive this speed, do these things. This is allowed, and our laws are generally fairly uh, lenient most of the time. But God's law is to say, you are my people, act in this way, not so you will become my people, not to be righteous. That's not what it's saying at all. But because by the works of the law, no one is justified, right? Not stabbing somebody, not killing somebody isn't going to then give you righteousness and give you points with God. You're just doing what you're supposed to do. Don't kill people. But baseball bats can be used to kill people. So can crowbars and hammers, screwdrivers. You can take any sort of mix of chemicals from your local pharmacy, make some sort of solution, knock somebody out, and take a drill and drill into their brain. Or just take your hands, good old-fashioned strangling. You can't ban people out of existence. You just can't do it. Not because I think we should have all these weapons. I think, you know, some um, legislation could be helpful. But the problem is it only bans them for the people who want to obey the law. Right? Because terrorists still break the law. They broke laws beforehand. Because I bet it's not legal to stab people in New Zealand. I just got just a guess. Just a guess. I haven't checked. So he gets a knife gripped by ideology that's not supported here. I thought New Zealand was a tolerant nation. Oh dear. You mean you don't want murderous Islamic radicals going around stabbing people? Oh, <laughs> that's a little intolerant. That's a little intolerant, lady without a spine, whoever you are. I mean, she's like the prime minister or something. But she, she I mean, this is the same lady that like there was a case of COVID in, in you know, however many weeks ago and like locked down the country. It's like, <laughs> everybody stay home. Don't, no, it's okay. Your mommy's here. Shh, shh, shh. You know, you're sucking your thumb and she's patting you on the head and you've got those little headphones because you can't stand the noise and your eyes are closed. What have we become, ladies and gentlemen? What is our society? I mean, the, the East, Russia, China, these other places, laugh at us. New Zealand is very much the West. 
Australia, right? Because they're colonies from, uh, prison colonies from England. Canada, US, UK, we're, we're the, you know, kind of axis of, of the West. Sure, Western Germany and other, or just Germany in general and other places, maybe Italy somewhat and, and other countries, but we're the primary movers and shakers of the West. And we are spineless. We are babies. Banning assault weapons and banning knives isn't going to help anybody. <laughs> it's going to make it worse. But this happened in Canada. This happens and has happened in the UK. I mean, the UK police, England police, they, they don't carry guns. And there's, guess what? Islamic radicals who go around stabbing people. This has happened more than one time. You can search it. I'm not going to put them up because I don't have the type of time. But you can go search it. Look up Canada stabbing, England stabbing, on and on and on. Okay, fine. We're going to ban the weapons. We're going to ban the guns, ban the knives. And then, then, we're, then we're good, right? All the Islamic people gripped by ideology will just go back away. Who actually believes that? Nobody. Nobody believes that. Anyway. Be against the world for the sake of the world. All right? Y'all take care. Bye.